Hello, people, and welcome to Planet Side 2. Now, I'm sure, I'm hoping that a lot of you have heard or at least, you know, seen a little bit of Planet Side 2 already. But if you haven't, that's okay because I'm going to go over everything. And if you have seen it, <laughs> you're going to go through another history lesson, okay? It's going to be like you're going back to class and reviewing constantly and you're really annoyed because you already know everything. But welcome to Planet Side 2. Planet Side 2 is a sequel to Planet Side 1, which is an MMO FPS. And this is an MMO FPS 2. However, the big difference is that this one is uh, going to be free to play when it is released. Currently, it is in beta. I got into beta, the beta. Um, a while ago, this count, uh, but I was allowed to play in the early, early closed beta. Actually, the beta is still closed, by the way. Uh, but I was allowed to borrow a friend's account, and he is also for that. He's Hito, because I know he's going to be like, You play Nails? You play Nails? I'm like, Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. So, anyways, um, because there doesn't seem to be an available vehicle for me, I am going to just teleport out of here or can I go over there there seems to be someone over there who's waiting for someone or he might be AFK I don't know all right so jumping into it I am currently playing as the Barneys I mean sorry I am currently playing as the Venue Sovereignty the Venue Sovereignty is a purple bluish uh, faction they incorporate alien technology in all their weapons and it's like whoa that's so cool pew 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 lasers and stuff and it's really awesome um, so yeah, that's really cool. Unfortunately for them, that uh, just, I, I don't, if they weren't purple, I think I'd probably join them for life, but they're purple and I'd rather not. I'm currently waiting for the resources to accumulate. Once they do, I'm going to grab a scythe. Um, you can see in the bottom left corner over here that there is four different types of resources and depending on your control of the map, depending on your facts and control of the map, which, by the looks of it, my side's doing pretty damn well. Holy shit. What the hell are you doing, new conglomerate? Wow. So anyways, you get resources by capturing all these different nodes. And these resources can be, uh, there are three resources used in general play and then one resource used in um, other stuff. This is called, this right here is called Araxium. It's got to be by far the most important uh, resource you can get because it allows you to buy stuff such as uh, implants for your character or weapons for vehicles, stuff like that. Uh, later on, probably other things. So let me go ahead and look through. Can I? No, no, I have to have certifications. Uh, how many? Do I have any cert points, actually? No, because I haven't been playing. That is more than okay. Um, I'm just waiting here until I get enough resources for the scythe. That is the scythe right there. I've never actually really flown the scythe, so we'll see how that handles out. I haven't played Planet Side in a while, and I figured if I'm going to play and record it, and I'm by myself, I'm going to play as a side that I, I'll never ever really touch again, and that's this side, because I main the Terran Republic, because the Terran Republic is the most badass. I mean, not only do you have badass colors, but you also have, you know, a solid foundation of life. Liberty and shit, right? It's not really so much freedom, but just, you know, a proper government. So there's peace rather than, LOL, must be rebels, free market, LOL, I'm a new conglomerate faggot. Yeah. It takes a while to get resources, by the way. I don't know what, what is this guy doing? Can I take your vehicle? You can't take other people's vehicles, by the way. But I am going to stand on top of it if I can. Huh. Eh. Damn it. It's not working. Okay, so anyways, uh, back to explaining the resource system. Uh, the other three resources, all four resources are gained depending on your control of the map. So you can see how we have like a whole bunch of the facilities and you have um, a couple of these facilities under attack. I, I don't know what these are called. Okay, so you have Oraxium, Polymers, Catalysts, and Alloys. I don't really, I, I personally just go the green, red, and yellow, and blue resource, but... For the sake of uh, what's going on, we're going to focus on that. As you can see, we have a very high amount of Catalyst, because I think Catalyst is one of the more disposable resources. Um, in fact, just really all three of these resources are disposable. Why? Because you use these resources, these three resources, the green, red, and yellow one, to purchase vehicles. Uh, so as you can see from the vehicle terminal over here, I need 200 of the green resource. I believe those are polymers. Um... 
Yes, you need 200 polymers to be able to buy the basic flight unit. That applies to all the races. So the mosquito and whatever the blue, uh, the blue, the uh, new conglomerate equivalent of it is. They have to do that. I think it's called the Reaper, actually. Yeah, that's got to be it. Also, um, hmm, there seems to be a galaxy over here just chilling out. I'm gonna go get in it. Ow. Ah, 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 ah. Wait for me! Because you know what? Fuck waiting. It takes a while. Alright, so we're gonna chill out inside this, this vehicle. This is called the Galaxy. Uh, the Galaxy is a very big dropship. If you couldn't tell already. It can hold up to 12 people. Uh, two of those people can be inside of a Max, which is a very big, heavy exoskeleton, exosuit kind of thing that you can get, um, or spawn as. But, generally you want to focus on just, you know, being the Galaxy. The Galaxy, if you drop out of the Galaxy, you don't take any fall damage. I think there's supposed to be an animation showing why you don't take fall damage. But, it is really awesome, because if you have a good pilot, he can take you to fucking hell, you can drop down into hell, you can clear out hell, and then everything will be good. Uh, I think this guy's waiting for a second person. What the hell is going on? Who's shooting us? I don't know. Okay, he's just like, you know what? Fuck it. I am driving off. We need to go do some shit. And you know what? I don't, I'm don't. i not in a faction or a group, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit F11. That is not F11. This is F11. Searching for a squad to auto-join. I almost hit the uh, end record button. That would have been mad. Um... So I'm hitting the auto squad join button, and we just now got the resources to get the scythe, but no oh well. Um, we're just going to chill out. Hopefully he flies off pretty well to a good zone that's under attack. That would probably be this area over here, this area over here. So we'll see. Uh, by the way, talking about resources, you see how this this is captured by... Oh, well, now, now it's not. But when it was captured over here, it was not getting resources for our people. So we could have... All of this, but if there isn't a node connecting them to the main facility over here, along a path, you're not going to get the resource from it. So, currently we only have places that are connected, but say like if they capture this area, it would disconnect this, well it wouldn't disconnect this area, it would disconnect this little spot right here. Or maybe not, because it still has this place. If they, if they captured this and this, these two areas would be uncaptured. Uh, that's just the basic summary of it. You have to have control of the place linking it over. It, it, it's a basic concept, but um, generally, I guess you could say for the Vanu Sovereignty, this, or wait, no, actually, the Vanu Sovereignty was placed on the other side of the map. Never mind. I didn't realize that. Huh. Before the Vanu Sovereignty were spawned up on this side of the map. <laughs> And the new the Terran Republic respond over here. They just completely swapped them out since the last time I played. That is interesting. And I don't know where this guy's going, but we'll keep an eye out for what is around here. Oh, did he drop everybody off already? Oh, I didn't realize there was conflict going on here. Okay, so we have a enemy Reaper just kind of coming in. Oh, he's starting to bomb our guy. That is not so nice. Alright, I'm heading down into this facility to see if there's anybody running around. Doesn't seem like it. Okay. You can hear combat going on, though. I don't know where. But we have to find the enemies. Now, I am currently playing as the Heavy Assault class. The Heavy Assault class has a rocket launcher um, thing. Yeah, it's got a rocket launcher. And it also has the, a, the class ability is a shield. Now, I'm not going to activate it because... It's, I don't want to activate it and then be caught with my pants down, but the shield is basically what it says. It it gives you a little bit more... It gives you a shield so you can take some more damage. Uh, so if I jumped off this building and I activated my shield, I might not die so hard. Or not die at all, really. I could I could have a lot of health. Also, that guy... Cr what the... The fuck? I'm not even sure. Um, but this base is under attack. I think. Or it was under attack. Hmm. I'm not sure. One thing you can do, and I think I'm going to do that now, is you can do this. You can get instant. You can go to the map and you do instant action, and you'll spend a little bit of your resources, depending on what it is. So, I, like the Tarek stuff, you spend Araxium. So, if you don't want to really spend Araxium, you don't. Um, but you do this, and after you load in, we get dropped from a drop pod and land in the middle of the area. So, hopefully we can find an enemy to not kill or land on or something. You... Okay. Come at me, bros. 
Well, I've never been here actually. This is a this is the base I was looking for before when I was playing by myself. This base has a whole bunch of jump pads to allow you to go from platform to platform, which is pretty dang cool if you ask me, but there's no conflict going on here. I don't even know why it was like, uh, oh, by the way, you might want to do stuff. Okay, you know what? Oh, I can't instant travel there? Shit. Can I instant travel here? What about here? Oh, I can't instant travel for another 30 minutes. Oh, okay, so they added they added a timer thing. Right, right, right. Redeploy. Redeploy me somewhere, broski. Because there's nothing going on. I don't even know where I am. I'm over here at the Tauric Tech Plant. Where nothing is going on. It says it's under attack, but not really. You you have just been killed. You will respawn shortly. Okay. Deployment. Alrighty. So now that I'm here, I can go ahead and choose some other areas to respawn. However, by the looks of it, all these are in the same area. Wow, this base has a lot of respawn points. Holy tits. Okay. I'm going to respawn over at the warp gate and just grab a, a scythe like I said I was going to. Sorry that we haven't had any conflict, but with an air vehicle, which I mostly prefer, we're definitely going to find some action. Unfortunately, I don't have um, advanced equipment on the Mosquito, or not the Mosquito, sorry, Terran Republic guy. Uh, I don't have any advanced equipment for my scythe, so it's going to suck, but I will try my best. So let's go ahead and uh, spawn it up. There we go. Bam! Scythe. Whee! Yeah! Now this actually- I actually kind of like the design of the scythe. It looks really cool. So the scythe is a pretty quick uh, pretty quick air vehicle. Um, basically it's the fighter of the Venue Sovereignty. And it can come to a dead stop in midair. All the other ones can't do this. They just kind of fall. This one? Hey! What's up? I'm floating. <laughs> So it actually can be pretty effective against people on the ground if you want to hover and shoot the shit out of them. So, yeah. Uh, we're still looking for a squad, aren't we? Searching for squad to join. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see what happened. We got into a squad, but the person left. I didn't even notice. All right. So I need to look on the map to find out some of the major action. It looks like we are going to the Palisade over here. So I'm going to put my waypoint there so we can follow it. Is that a, that's a scythe? Okay. Maybe we'll keep behind the site, unless he's not actually going anywhere. Because sometimes, from terms of perspective, he might be—he he, could have been going in my direction. I would—I don't know. Ooh, what is that? Is that an enemy ship? That is an enemy ship. Take it. Woo! I hope you have some gunner because otherwise you are so fucked. Now the the galaxy, because of the resource that you have to spend on it, is. Probably one of the more used vehicles for just like a random person looking to get somewhere. So he could generally just be by himself inside that galaxy. I don't know why people do that. I wouldn't spend resources on a galaxy if I was going by myself. But yeah, I don't know. Where the fuck did this guy go? Oh, there he is. Okay. I, I, I lost sight of him and then it was just like, what the fuck? Come back, Monsieur say 7 a.m. Lee. Oh, he's doing a hard landing to try and get away from us, but that's not really going to help him. Oh, he's invisible! That's cute. Let's see how long that lasts. In fact, you know what? He's landed over here at a facility. One of our own facilities. Fuck that. Oh, wait. That's a teammate. Do not want to shoot him. There he is! Shit. So there's a cloaked guy around here. And he's being really crafty. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Like, did he not see me just floating right in front of him, waiting for him to come by? I don't, I don't know. Um, but we did that. Let's head back over to our waypoint. However, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's going on over here? Well, we have a massive presence from the Terran Republic pushing into our Araxium. And I almost crashed into the ground while I was distracted by the map. All right. We need to fly over there, and I can, by the way, you can look around your cockpit if you hold the middle mouse button, and I am currently being chased, actually. So bad things could happen to me, unless I fly right by him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you chase me, bro. We'll see where that gets you. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
You gotta watch out for that. No cocky, no cocky. Just get to the platform and heal and get some ammo. Now your ships do have ammo, unlike in Battlefield 3, uh, where they generally just kind of have infinite ammo. So you gotta watch out for that. Uh, let me pull, up, pull out my repair gun, my handy dandy repair gun. And now that that's set, let's go. Ooh, hello. Wait, is that a teammate? No, it's not. Oh, it is a teammate. Oh, tits. My bad, teammate. I didn't know. I'm so sorry. Okay, so what do we got going on around this area? So, if, supposedly we have 22% population. Oh, now it's 50. Okay, so yeah, there's some major conflict going on around out here. Um, B is controlled, so you can expect to see some enemies over there. Except maybe I should keep my eye on the sky, because, um, yeah. Hey, look! It's a... New conglomerate ship? No, wait, no, that's a, that, that's a mosquito. Never mind. Oh, man, you were just in the worst position. And he's gone. Goodbye! <laughs> wait, three kill streak bonus? When did I kill... When did I kill another person? Oops. Hey, it's a galaxy! Shoot, 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 shoot. Yes, you know you're on that deck. What the hell is shooting me? Oh, the galaxy was shooting me. Okay. <laughs> awesome. That guy, I didn't, I didn't expect to engage with the guy on the ground. Okay, so let me go over here and heal. What the fuck is this guy doing? Right. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to go land and repair my ship because it's just a bad idea to not do that. Just flying around with low health. Yeah, this isn't Battlefield 3. Your health isn't going to get repaired very conveniently if you're just flying around. You have to do it yourself. Unless you're flying next to someone who's also an engineer, I guess that would work. Um, but chances are rare unless you're playing with a friend. So now that I've done this, I'm going to head back over to this area and keep my eye to the sky. And if not, I'll just fly, keep flying around, see if I can shoot somebody on the ground. Uh, is that a tank? That is a tank. That is not one of our tanks, because our tanks are all, like, angular and shit. Now, I need to watch out, because I saw the last video I saw of people in tanks was really devastating looking. Like, there was just a guy who just kept on going around shooting people out of the sky, and that's scary. Um, so I'd rather not. Granted, he was a new conglomerate guy, so, hmm... Hmm, that not be so effective with the, uh, with this race, because the Terran Republic are a race who aim to shoot really fast, basically. So they don't actually do all that much damage, but they shoot fast, so you gotta watch out for that. Granted, if I'm at, because I'm at 25% health, I don't really think it matters, uh, how much health they would've taken out. I still would've died. Okay, here we go, and onwards to see if we can find more people now. Ooh! I see they've added the dome effect now. Before there was just like nothing there, so it didn't really seem as if you could. It was just see through. It was annoying, but now yeah, now we can see through it. That's awesome. Now what is that guy shooting at? Oh shit! Okay, so there is currently a liberator trying to fly away. I'm gonna keep on shooting the shit out of it. It has a uh, gunner. Now, the problem is that the gunner seats of the Liberator and the Galaxy hurt a lot. So this is actually a really bad idea. Uh, unless I can get above it, or directly below it, to try and take it out. But we will see about that. I'm gonna keep on shooting. Fuck your couch. Bitch, you're not getting away from me! Fuck you! Ah. Well, I blew up the, uh, I blew up the Liberator. <laughs> But the guy ejected. Oh, he died too. All right, I'm 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 content. So where am where am I going to be able to respawn now? The crown. Oh, I can't spawn over inside the facility. That is bad. All right, I'm going to go heavy assault because it seems as if um, we might actually have to participate in a ground battle. Tits. But we will see about that because by the looks of it, I actually spawned a fair distance away. So let me see what I have. We have a liberator. Hmm. I could get in the Liberator and just pick up this other dude. Alright, I'm getting a Liberator. So you can see what that's like. The Liberator is on all sides, which is interesting to me. I'm surprised they don't just have, like, different types of vehicles. But hey, it works! Eh. Eh. 
Uh, oh shit. Okay. Alright. I didn't expect for the building to be right there. Gotta watch out for that. Okay. I'm gonna go land in <laughs> repair or I'm gonna die. <laughs> Clapping for myself because I'm sad. <laughs> I will continue my quest to try and kill someone, but hey, we opened up the respawn system so we can try and find somewhere else to go. Uh, or not. I don't know. I'm going to spawn at the warp gate, and I'm also going to leave the squad because this squad isn't really working out. I don't want a squad with one person. I want a squad with multiple people. So let's go ahead and leave this. Uh, social squad. Leave. The Nine China Party Morning Party Squad. Slippery Gypsies. Zero Twilight Outfit. I'll join the uh, Morning Party Squad. Why not? Alright, there we go. So now we're in a squad with a fuckload of people, and that pleases me. So, I don't know where they are, but I'm absolutely going to make sure to look out for them at the same time as... Actually, yeah, where, where the fuck are they? I'm, I'm going to assume that they're at one of these front sites. Ah. We're over at the Rust Mesa lookout. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and get in someone's galaxy because there's always someone looking around. So here's this dude running over here. Everyone's just going to kind of ignore him because, hey, we can all get in a galaxy. Lol, lol, lol. Actually, I can get in the galaxy over there and help out because I know what my teammates need. Hmm. All right. So we'll show you some galaxy action. Even though the galaxy is really slow, it doesn't matter. Unless we have some kind of... Unless we have enough resources for one of these other vehicles. Ooh, we have we have enough for a lightning. I like a lightning. All right, we're getting a tank. Whee! Poof. All righty. And now I held into the warp gate. Just kidding. We can't go into the warp gate just yet. Until there's other worlds, there's no real reason for the warp gate. Except for it being your respawn area. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a waypoint over there, and we're gonna drive. We're gonna drive 4,000 meters and hope that it goes by relatively quickly. We're also gonna hope that I don't drive myself off this building. Although, thinking of it, I probably should have switched to an engineer. I'm gonna have to do that if I ever pass by another facility. Alright. For now, though, I need to not die. Oh, titty fuck! What is going on? No! No, 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 no! Shit, fuck! No, 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 no! No, why? What did I do to deserve this? Okay, so... We're not gonna go over there in a tank! Great! We can't spawn on the spawn beacon, though, so I guess I'll do that. Spawn beacon! And then we drop from the sky. Here we go. What is going on, Rust Mesa? Pa pow Sup, teammates. How's it going? Who's he? That's three. What's up, three? Jer. Yeah, you cool. Also, there's shooting going on. I don't know why. Oh! Air vehicles. Okay. <laughs> this is amusing. So I guess we're just kind of holding the facility and be like, What's up, yo? Hey! How's it going? He's got a rocket launcher. I got a rocket launcher, too. I don't know what the hell we're doing over here, but... All I know is that we are in a big squad of a lot of people. Woo! The fuck? <laughs> Welcome to the beta, ladies and gentlemen. We have glitches where people are sitting in the ground or some shit. Alright, so what's going on over here? Uh-oh. More people chilling in the ground. Gotta watch out for that. Ooh, God. Okay. Now, this is a... Oh, hey. An enemy vehicle. I cannot take it. So I'm just gonna blow it up. Free points, bitch. ha <laughs> ha. Alright, so this is a vehicle resupply structure thingy. If you drive a tank next to it, you'll get resources. You'll get ammo for your tank. Just keep an eye out for that. 
Uh, I should probably stick next to my squad, even though it seems as if my squad is being highly stationary right now. Which kind of blows, but you, you gotta stick with the crew. Apparently they're talking, so I gotta, I gotta listen up. What's going on? Lictor Da Vinci. Lictor Van Chris. I guess they're in the same squad? Okay. Or the same outfit, rather. What the hell is that? Is that a tank? Oh, it is a vehicle. Okay. Just making sure. Think they're working hard on Zervan. So are we going to Zervan? Mm hmm? Da Vinci. Da, da Vinci. Where, what, where is Da Vinci, actually? I just saw him. Hmm. Oh, well. Ooh, enemy tank incoming. And it is actually moving. Alright, gotta keep an eye out for that. Especially if it comes over here. Please come over here. Please come over here. Please come over here. It is driving on over. <laughs> oh shit, son! It's not even—it's not even really a big vehicle. Oh shit! It's shooting at me. I'm not—I'm not gonna waste my bullets and, or not gonna waste my rockets until it, get clo it gets closer, though. Oh no! Look, it's an enemy vehicle. <laughs> oh, I have to get used to the rocket on this side. That's okay. Basically, you close the distance and bang. Got it! I got one hit! Alright. Boom, baby! <laughs> Suck my dick, lightning. Alright. I'd like to i I'd like to think that uh did a pretty good job. What are you what are you doing? Oh, ooh, ammo. I like ammo, thank you. Mmm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, no, no. You gotta treat these things like rations, like oh food. Nom, 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 nom. Delicioso. See, this guy's like, oh yeah, I like ammo. Uh, who is this guy, anyways? What's up? This guy's Lictor Vancris. I, I got ammo for you here. Actually, what is he? I don't even know what my in-game name is. <laughs> Oops. Oh, it's 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 uh, Sonoman. Okay, so I I I I, I didn't go with Gom. I went with Sonoman. That is more than okay. Uh, yeah. Oh shit, tank! It's not even a Terran Republic tank! The fuck? Oh, you missed! Sucks for you, dick fuck. I didn't miss, though. I didn't miss. <laughs> and fire! Boom, baby! Yeah! Another tank down. And then we chase out this other dude who's just kind of running away like, Oh, tits. Oh, fuck. Oh, man. That guy cloaked, though. Unfortunately for him, cloaking does not keep you alive. Cloaking actually can screw you over because, well, you can't shoot when you're cloaked. So we can just kind of chase him down and he can't shoot back at us. Oh, look, a stationary player. Time to kill. <laughs> I guess he gave up. He's just like, you know what? I'm getting the fuck out of here. Uh-oh. The shit? I don't even know. Let me go ahead and look at my options, though, because I need to turn up voice uh, stuff. Receive volume. Fucking 100. Yo. All right. Let's get back up to the, uh, this area. Hopefully now that I put the voice to 100%, we'll be able to actually make out what these people are saying. I could talk to them in-game, but... I'd feel awkward because I don't really know what they're doing. These guys could be like super serious. You gotta watch out for that. But hey, whatever. Enemy drop pod from the west. The two, no, three liberators coming from the east. I'm gonna turn the voice receive volume down. <laughs> wow. Yep. Find cover in a building. If you got AA. Take them. All right, finding cover in a building. We got shit incoming. They are not pleased with us at the moment. What do they got? Liberators? Oh. And we just had someone drop in. East. It's a max! It's a max! Fuck you! Ha! 
Okay, all right. I had a little t a bit of a terrifying experience. Yeah, this guy's healing me. Thank you very much. Crouch of dankness. Hello. I might not have AA, but I can still shoot at people. Oh shit! There's another Max. An enemy in the area. I missed. I missed with the rocket launcher. Uh oh. I will annihilate you with my pistol of justice. 